Hello world, it is a beautiful Friday night and I know we all love memes. You know, like top text, bottom text type goofs. A lot of memes have not survived the internet warp and the harsh critique of the internet over the years. Like this guy hasn't survived and this guy also hasn't survived. However, one man has survived all this internet reformatting over all these years. This Polish man. Do you know him? I know him. I am very acquainted with him. Now, when I say there's a lot of Wojak memes, guys, there's a lot of them. There's whole internet forums, like whole websites, just collecting these Wojak memes, which I think is really cool. However, <laughs> it's a very simple meme format and it's really easy to portray a lot of emotion with this like one art style that's been created from redrawing Wojak characters. There's a lot of popular Wojaks. There's a lot of unpopular Wojaks. There's mean ones. There's nice ones there's kind of inaccurate ones there's some that are just like i think you just hate i think you just hate a certain type of person and there's some i'm just like i think someone wronged you and you made this and you think everybody's gonna relate to it but then like two really weird people relate to it and then you just look weird now there's many many wojaks but here are some that are listed on wikipedia and some that i threw in because i've seen them a lot over the years that weren't included on wikipedia let me let me just give you a little like info behind each wojak like what it represents what it stands for who it really who it represents, you know? But yeah, these are some of the more popular ones. We're gonna break through each one of them and then and then we'll just, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about why some of them are a problem and why some of them are, aren't as much of a problem. Number one, there's NPC Wojak. He kind of symbolizes the sheeps of the world. They just kind of follow the crowd mindlessly and they just do whatever everybody else does. This one, this one's pretty popular. I think it's kind of funny. It's not really that harmful. It's just, he's just a guy that just likes what other guys do with their brains. He has a lot of lore and history behind him, including Donald Trump's 2016 election, where he was used in a lot of memes around that, and like NPC streamers that just kind of react to stuff. So like, you'll see like NPC Wojak and like him reacting to, I don't know, like hot tub streamers. But yeah, he's a pretty basic, basic Wojak. He's used in a lot of stuff. He has a very broad means of use, and he's not as harmful as the other ones may be on this list. Number two, Reddit's favorite Wojak. It's his, it's their favorite guy. They love this guy. They use him in everything. They just, they love this guy. It's a, it's, it's, it's truly something. There's this really popular meme format that you've probably seen around where you'll put Yes Chad on one side with like a winning argument and then you'll put Soy Boy Wojak on the other side with like a soy losing argument. You know what I mean? Like, like woj like uh yes chad will be like me when i like uh skim milk and then soy boy wojack will be like i can only eat full fat chocolate milk Bruh. yes chad also has a cannon ship <laughs> has a ca yes Ch <laughs> no, no, not, none of that sentence was anywhere in any form of holy text yes chad is also in is pictured in a relationship with trad wife and trad wife is like one of the main reasons I'm making this video because I just, I see so much trad wife everywhere and it's really starting to get to me. It's just really starting to bother me. Trad wife is not as innocent as you'll think she is. Trad wife is, it's not her fault, but trad wife is not, how do I say this? Um, beneficial to the feminist movement <laughs> as she possibly could be. I recently found like the original Yes Chad picture like drawing which I thought was really interesting I'll put it right here it translates to a professor was jealous of his handsome colleagues so he took an x-ray of him and is now showing it to the ladies I think it's funny it's like he's just like a beard and some hair and then he goes in an x-ray and he's like this soy soy face shape and then there's coomer and doomer who I'm only putting in the same category because their names sound similar Coomer is a pretty flat character. He's like fine, I guess. His main trait is just jacking off a lot and having a cooming addiction, which is portrayed very well in the drawings of him. Like, I feel like you could assume what his character traits are by just looking at like a Coomer meme or just like a picture of him. And then Doomer is a lot more popular. Doomer is like a lone, he's like a lone wolf character, you know? He's just like, he smokes, he smokes a cigarette and he's given up on society and he wears a beanie. And he smokes a cigarette. He's in like a lot of drainer memes and he's pictured as a cloud rap enjoyer. And he's just, he's just, 
he doesn't he doesn't like what the mass is like you know he's just he's just his own mind he's the op doomer is the opposite of npc wojack you know what i mean he's just he's a sigma male he's got his own thing going on but he's a sigma male with flaws because he's not he does drugs and stuff and he drinks and he's depressed and lonely and he probably works as a dishwasher at Chili's. He's also associated with like the Ryan Gosling Drive 2011 stereotype or like the Blade Runner 2077 meme where you see him like looking up at Joy. It's like that kind of thing. You know, you know, you get what I mean. You get what I'm saying. Soy Jack. I think Soy Jack is misunderstood. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I just think that that's just the vibe I'm catching. I, the vibe I'm catching is that Soy Jack is misunderstood. He's like the enemy character of Yes Chad, like I said before. He's always losing the argument. He's always crying. He's always like, he's not He's not as giga Chad. He always has the wrong opinion. He's insecure. He's not a strong uh, trad wife lover like Yes Chad is. Soy Jack likes uh, Daddy's Girl and Thought Jack. Is her name Thought Jack? Thought Woe Jack? I don't know. Soy Jack is a pretty clear cut character. He's always losing because he's a soy boy with the wrong opinion. He's sometimes memed as dating daddy's girl, but I don't really see it very often. It's like, it's like Soy Jack and daddy's girl. And then it's like trad wife and yes, Chad. And it's like, obviously trad wife and yes, Chad is like the ideal relationship. And like Soy Jack and daddy's girl, are like the bad relationship. They're like the modern society relationship. This is what dating in 2023 is like, guys. Like this is, this is what it's like. Okay. Now that we're done with like most of the dude characters, the boy characters, it gets a little bit more interesting when we get to the the female characters, you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like these were created with a lot more malicious intentions than the guy characters. It's very like, oh, this is us picking at picking at women. It's like you can be you can be a daddy's girl or you can be a trad wife and there's no in between. And uh, for some reason we don't like either of them that much because trad wives are submissive and they don't have a brain and daddy's girl has a brain but she's depressed and she probably has an OnlyFans. With the male Wojak characters, there's always this like aura of understanding and forgiveness of their flaws. Like with Doomer Wojak, there's this, oh yeah, he sucks and he doesn't fit into society. But it's not his fault. It's the cards he was dealt. And he's super cool and he smokes cigarettes. Did I mention that he smokes cigarettes, guys? That type of forgiveness for the character flaws isn't as extended to the female characters, the female Wojaks, as much. I feel like we're not as giving to them as we are with the dude characters. It's almost like the girl characters are portrayed as just being bad and there's no give to their character. It may, It's just like this character, she's a hoe. And then this other Wojak boy is just, he's just the product of all these women being hoes and he's just sad. Like he's a doomer Jack because, because all these, all these daddy's girls have just messed him up and they messed him up and all he really needs is a trad wife. Like it's just, it's that kind of story that's being portrayed in most of the memes I see about Wojaks. The female Wojaks being portrayed as bad makes more sense considering the popular female Wojaks are pretty much made to portray incel stereotypes or they were made by incels to portray their stereotypes of women. Like it, a good example of this is Yes Chad and I think there's Stacy Jack, which Stacy is like, a, oh, she's a Stacy. Like she's just a girl with no brain. This is Stacy, she's a Stacy. A lot of the female Wojaks are made by incels to be used as like an outlet of the of like incel misogyny in their memes. And that's kind of a big reason why I'm making this video because it's something I've noticed in a lot of Wojak memes. Like a lot of Wojak memes will be pretty harmless. And then I'll see one that's just like so out there and it's so crazy that I'm like, oh man. The incel influence on Wojak is most apparent with trad wife. Trad wife is the perfect woman. She'll make you dinner. She'll have a bunch of kids with you. Do your laundry and she'll she's just super submissive to everything you want her to do. An example of trad wife that always negatively stuck out to me is this, this one meme that went around recently with PewDiePie and Marcia being portrayed as trad wife and yes chad and iDubs and his wife Anissa are portrayed as soy jack and ethot which is not cool at all. That meme just like, I don't know why it just gets to me. It might be because of the whole thing where Anissa has an OnlyFans and iDubs was portrayed as being like a cuck for a really long time, which by the way, isn't true. Your wife having an OnlyFans doesn't mean you're like a cuck. It just means that she wants to start an OnlyFans. Like it's really not that deep. And like a lot of guys use women having OnlyFans as like, oh, women in society, like so bad. Like, 
like women, they just like let all their morals go and they just want to start OnlyFans and they don't want to they don't want to start a family and have kids. Like like yeah, they want to start a family and have kids, but they also want that bag, you know what I mean? But yeah, this meme with PewDiePie and Marcia on iDubs and Anissa is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Tradwife is also used by incels a lot, which I argue is like the most you, like the people that use Tradwife the most. In a lot of memes, she's seen as like not having any standards in my opinion. You're like, "Yeah, let's go on a date and get married because you asked me out." While Doomer Girl on the other hand is like, "Um, actually I want a football player and a million dollars." Blah 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 blah. Like hate a girl for having standards, I guess. Daddy's girl is another very important piece of the story. She's a hoe. She does drugs. She can't sleep. She has pink hair. She's an SJW. And most importantly, she's just like me for real. Who knew incels could come up with such a relatable character? I love daddy's girl. She thinks about starting an OnlyFans, but she's probably too insecure and just works a retail job instead. In Wojak world, daddy's girl is a very negatively portrayed character, often seen as the complete like opposite of trad wife. Why can't she be given the same sympathy that's often handed to Doomer? That's because she was created for the sole purpose of being an outlet to hate on women. I understand that there's also like negative male Wojaks, but none of them are nearly as cutthroat as Daddy's Girl or Ethot. Daddy's Girl is a bad woman and Trad Wife is a good woman. And that's it. No depth, no forgiveness. Daddy's Girl is who you should avoid and Trad Wife is who you need to submit to you. Last but not least, and also my personal favorites, Doomer Boy and Doomer Girl. Doomer Boy is sometimes called Twink Jack, but I'm just going to call him Doomer Boy. Doomer Boy and Girl are pretty similar in their designs and everything, but they're used in different ways. Doomer Girl is kind of more like a likable daddy's girl. She's kind of like a mix between trad wife and daddy's girl or trad wife and ethot. She's kind of like the ideal emo girl, sort of like trad wife, but for guys that like the alternative look. She's like a submissive girl, but she's no, she doesn't have the aesthetic that trad wife has, the like blonde hair, the like wifey dress she's kind of just emo but with the same personality almost but she's like more catered towards the gamer boys if you know what i mean and doomer boy is the only wojack i can think of that was created in almost like the female eye he was popular on twitter as like the boys what's stopping you from looking like this or like if you look like this hit me up I had him as my Twitter profile picture for a while because I just thought he was cool. He was basically made as a portrayal of emo boys, twinks, and effeminate men. He's not used very much anymore in Reddit and 4chan memes, but I like him. I think he's like a breath of fresh air in the Wojak universe. He's a very like women-centered character. Anyways, why do I care about all of this? Because I sound crazy and I've just been going on about digital drawings that have been used for almost 15 years. I think Wojaks are kind of like an awesome way to portray certain situations in memes. They can be like super funny and accurate sometimes, but overall I feel like there's a certain misuse to them. I feel like some people take Wojak memes as like something you can't even like argue with. You just gotta comment so true on every Wojak meme that you see. Or if you do disagree with them, it's like, it's just a Wojak meme, dude. You're just being sensitive. They're just Wojaks. It's not like the real, it's not like real life. But in reality, the person that made it is like, this is exactly how real life and society is. It's just like this Wojak meme. All of the, the human existence just boils down to girl bad and boy misunderstood. I don't like how common it is to use Wojax as an outlet to be super misogynistic and just blast out all the problems you have with women all over the internet. Life isn't as black and white as trad wife good, daddy's girl bad. What if trad wife doesn't want you? Shit, daddy's girl and Ethot probably don't want you either if you're going around posting stuff like this. I recently saw this on my Instagram feed with a comment under it saying, Stop playing dolls with Wojax, which basically wraps up like my feelings on the entire situation. Just because you make a Wojax meme in Pixar, it doesn't mean that this is what society has come to. It's just what you think society has come to using two drawings on a white background. If you want a trad wife, be worthy of a trad wife. Be her type, please her in bed, shower every day, wear deodorant, have a well-paying job, buy her gifts, be the trad husband that your trad wife deserves. Because I promise if you somehow, by some means, acquire a trad wife by just sitting there at your keyboard eating Doritos, she's going to grow to resent you and then throw you in her butter churner and you're going to be uh, churned into butter. And she's going to give it to her businessman husband that she's had the whole time. Daddy's girl is also just a person going through it. Just like Doomer and Doomer boy. She's just as deserving of love as trad wife. And even though she might not have her life as put together as mistraditional, 
She still has a lot to work on and we'll get there eventually. Probably, maybe. I'm tired of certain people, men especially, not trying whatsoever and then expecting a beautiful, lovely, big booby master chef woman to come in and scoop them up and accept them as who they are. I like them. I really like the creativity and I really like that people can make these little characters and just draw them and just like expand upon them. But I don't like the black and white view of man bad, woman good, this is why women bad, this is why man bad, this is why blah, 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 blah. It's just too... It's too too easy of an answer for the world's relationship issues. Like Wojak's being the answer to all the underlying issues that we have. It just doesn't seem right. Hope to post like once or twice a week on here. So subscribe and like the video and comment and also share with your friends. And also follow me on my socials that are tagged below because you just can't get enough of me. If you want to see my little face on YouTube more, you should definitely interact with this video. So I will know to make more of them. Peace out.